Hi, I'm Christelle and welcome to this evening's edition of E-Prime. International recording artist Sean Paul is pushing the waves of Jamaican music with his newly released single and video for Body, which features ATL rap group Migos. The music video received 4 million views in 4 days and is now number 5 on the YouTube trending charts. Sean Paul having recently concluded his European tour with stops in Paris, London, Amsterdam and Moscow, was recently on the set of his music video shoot with local dancehall act Alkaline for their newly released single Gallus Pro. The artist will embark on the second leg of his European tour starting May 27 in Oxford and making stops in the Netherlands, Germany, Italy and Spain. Sean is also scheduled to take the Reggae Sumfest stage in the second city Montego Bay on Saturday July 22. Recording artist and producer Craigie T is reaping quite a bit of success with his international collaborations and remixes, the latest being the Devolve Dancehall remix to Calvin Harris's Slide single that also features superstars Frank Ocean and Migos. The remix has made it into the top 20 spot on the International Serato Spins chart worldwide. Three-time Grammy Award-winning reggae legend Bunny Whaler has finally opened his museum. The media launch took place recently as part of his 70th birthday celebrations and the Bunny Whaler Museum now mirrors his interpretation of his life and legacy and that of the Whalers group, heavily influenced by the Rastafari culture. The museum is located at 10 Darley Crescent, Washington Gardens and will be open to the public on an official date to be announced in July. The museum is however available for private viewings which can be arranged through the Whalers website. In the E-Prime Spotlight this evening is dancehall artist No Face Unknown who made it onto the scene in 2011. His 2016 hit single Tank Up received major traction and the artist is grabbing onto the attention of many with his masked persona and story of facial scars received in a fire. Well, the singer is singing a new tune and shares the reason for his drastic move. Well, after a while I got a little bit discouraged, you know, I get all the style in the business and thing. I came up with the idea. No face unknown, and I, you know, transform myself from Franchina to No Face and come on the scene and just do my first single, Tank Up, and it just went away and blew up, you know. The reason was to just make a point to the people and the music industry that there's a lot of young entertainers out there, probably financial wise, they don't really have the strength to push them, and they have very good talent. So I was there in the midst, I was one of those youth that didn't have the funds to fund myself to push my career where I wanted to go. You see, the purpose why I am unveiling myself to the public is I've made a point, you see me? So I don't know the thing, but music is all about drama. So a lot of people speculate and the critics will talk about, oh, no face unknown, you said your face was burned. Without my mask, I'm still talented and I'm, I'm going to reach far in the music industry, I'm not going to give up, so it's not really about the mass, the mass is just a controversial side of it, but the, the lyrics and the, the, the song that I'm putting out, people like the song that I have. No Face Eyes main stages and corporate events and gives us the details on his upcoming project. The new single that I have out is titled Pint God, the video is already done and everything. A lot of things in the pipeline, as in, in shows for Canada, around the, the, the Caribbean and many more places. Suriname getting a lot of calls from there also. So no my mass is off. I'm just putting in more work. And that's it for this evening's edition of E Prime. I'm Crystal. Thank you for watching.